Hey guys, how are you? This is Diana. Uh, today I want to show you something really cool I learned today in the group from one of the members. Uh, the member is Cyrene. I want to give her some credit for this amazing trick. I want to show you this is a uh, comment. Uh, somebody was asking how to put uh, some links in a 25 pages long design. She wants to put only like 15, 20 links. And Cyrene, she gave us the gold here. <laughs> um, I'm not going to read everything, but I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. Like for example, this, I took this uh, design, this template, exactly the same way it was in Canva. But you see here, this, this text is only one text box, only one. So how did I put these three links in only one text box? Okay, so we are going to learn this. And again, thank you, Cyrene, for this amazing trick. I was also wondering how to do this in Canva and you gave me the answer today. <laughs> and for this tutorial, I'm going to use my Canva free account. This is not something for the Canva Pro users, it's for everyone. So uh, I'm going here to templates, just I'm going to try to find again the same uh, design I used. It was a letterhead. Going here, I'm going to find it again. Here, it is the same design. I didn't even change the text. It's just because I want to show you the trick, okay? So here it is the design and what I did, the only change I did, it was to highlight a couple of words. As you can see, this is um, a group of text box, but this one is only one. So usually, if you didn't know, you can put, I'm going to ungroup this one just for the exercise I'm going to show you. Uh, you can put links, this is one text box, and you can put links to this text box, one link to this text box, and so on. So how did I do to put three different links? If you see here, this one is going to um, go to my YouTube channel. And then I guess one of these ones is going to my Instagram account. Okay, so we are using different, different links. Going again back to Canva and I'm going to do the same exercise I did. I'm going to highlight this uh, word <laughs> with the bold um, option here. And then I'm going to change the color just to make it pop a little bit and I'm going to do the same just for a couple of words so you can see uh, how it works. Okay, so I have done it. Oops, I think I'm missing one here. Okay, so this is it. We have still one text box and I'm going to do magic here. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger so we can see clearly. Okay, so we have here the text box and this trick is so, so simple. I, I don't know why I didn't think about it. Let's go to elements and let's go to shapes. We can use a square shape and then we are going to resize this shape so it goes on top of the, the word that we want to link. So let's make it smaller, let's go here. Okay, so now it is on top of the word and we cannot see anything, right? So uh, we are going to give some transparency and in the tip that Cyrene gave us, she said 0% uh, transparency. But uh, actually, I already tried this trick <laughs> before creating this tutorial and I guess maybe Canva changed since August and if we put uh, transparency to 0%, it won't work. You see here, it doesn't click, uh, there is no link here. So uh, the solution I found is to put transparency to 1% because 1% we cannot even see it, you see? 
let's go even closer and we cannot see it <laughs> so what i'm going to do uh, here is to select this box that now is transparent i'm going to duplicate it and then i'm going to position it on top of the next word or a couple of words and i'm going to change my link if i desire so i'm going just to use my instagram account link for this exercise and i'm going to select the box or the transparent box and enter the link here same here for this box and oops and same here for this another box the way i duplicated this box uh, i just dragged the box but before dragging it i selected uh, or pressed alt the key alt and then i dragged the box so that's another way to duplicate and then in this case i want to put a different link so i'm going to use my youtube link i'm going to change this instagram link here because i duplicated this box as you can see i duplicated again you will see that we have the same link so we have to change it if in case that you want to use different links right so for this exercise i used one for my youtube channel and two for my instagram account so let's try it out let's see let's see if it works <laughs> wish me luck pdf standard so i'm going to use this one because it's, it, it is a small file size and we are going to use it for digital use and um, yeah it's better to have it small size okay so it is here i'm going to click on the new pdf i downloaded and the moment of the truth Woo! yeah the links are here you see that my mouse is changing for a little hand when i click here it directs me to my instagram account and then if i click on the third one you remember it's my youtube channel let's see if it goes to my youtube channel yes it is okay guys so this is the trick remember that in order to have these uh, links we need to download these uh, files as pdfs or if you wish we can also try this option here we go to publish and then we go down here to website we can use presentation open website and then we can use this link to share uh, with our friends or the person that you need to share this design with and you can see that the links are working too over here so this is it i hope you liked this tutorial thanks again to Cyrene, and see you on the next tutorial bye bye